patients if they want it. Um, and you always want to ask a patient if they want it, even if it is free. Um, can I can I insert something here? Mm -hmm. um, the fact that they didn't write it down. What what could the impact of that be? If, if the patient didn't want it, then they can go back and like try to sue or something like well, this. Not, 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 not even that dramatic. Some, what? They somehow get allergic reactions and they Bingo. Like, Bingo. That's it. That's it. So that is one of the reasons that we write down sparkle varnish, the, right. the, the type. So I don't know if that was on there. Yeah. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. No, that's oh, okay. okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> um, so some of the things that were the the print uh, that applies to the principles of the ADHA code are um, individual autonomy and respect for human beings. Because by him just applying it, he's not allowing them to have a choice whether they would like it or not. Very good. Um, societal trust, because um, you know the patients ensure their trust in us that we are being honest and doing what's best for them. So by just doing something without asking is kind of violating their trust. Justice and fairness, because um, it's not fair that he's just applying it um, and you know he thinks that he can just get away with it, basically. <laughs> and veracity, because he's not telling the truth. He's he's lying. Um, by well, he's not charting it. He thinks he can get away with it. And, He's not being truthful because he's just applying it without um, anyone's permission. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, Excuse me, one sec. Yeah. No, question. I, it wasn't a question. It was just to like add to it. Oh. 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 Okay. Good. Um, so you should always ask because you don't know if a patient has um, religious or cultural beliefs and also the allergy things because sometimes fluoride has like tree nuts or something right, right, and right. you yeah. don't know what yeah. it is. Um, and, and you want to always chart too, like even if a patient rejects it you would also chart that as well. Correct, so. correct. So, um, so what is the decision that was made? What to do? Um, what to do? I, I might ask patients if he would like to write um, for a low fee, explain the benefits, if the, if the patient accepts or rejects it, always document it in the chart. Very good, very good. So, um, did you work with? Mm -hmm. yeah, did you think of anything else that, that could um, be done? I just, I, not necessarily with the, I thought what she planned out was, was yeah. pretty oh, good. Very, yeah. yeah, very I legitimate. Just, I touched upon like other aspects of it, but I didn't think she needed to change anything in terms of it. So could anyone else think of what, another decision that could be made to address this issue? Well, um, they could consider, I put just like, a different look at it that they could consider talking to the dentist or like fluoride companies to do like pro bono or like to try to have someone sponsor it yeah yeah that's exactly right you could either the dentist could decide i mean to be honest fluoride varnish is not expensive to buy to purchase a box of it it is not that i i bought boxes of it it's not expensive so that's that's number one beside the point if you are working in a low-income area and you really want to advance oral health, you know fluoride varnishes are the scientifically based um, remedy for incipient caries. So you could make an office policy that for people who do not have, say, say they don't have mass health, mass health would pay for it. If they don't have mass health but they're low income, you're going to put, supply this pro bono. You're not going to charge for it. However, you ha still have to go through the steps of getting informed consent, especially when it's children from the parents, and you still have to go through the uh, documentation process, you know, documenting what you did, even if you don't charge for it. Um, so that would be another way that you could um, solve that problem. How about question number four? Anybody want to say about question number four? Oh, you're standing up to do question number four. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, well, can I read some of this question? 